Good evening, Maria Los. How are you? Okay. It's nice to meet you again, teacher. Nice to see you again. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. That's great. It's good. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Tell me, Marielos, how have you been? Excuse me? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I only I was uh, sleepy, but I, I have to be to the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. How about you, teacher? The same working and a lot of activities in, in your work, Marielos? Uh, my work is, is really, yeah. this month is really heavy, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have to uh, make uh, reports um, present to Ministerio de Hacienda, mm. write about, um, I don't know, mm, procedimientos, I don't know, how do you say, process maybe? Process or procedures, exactly. Oh, procedures, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Teacher, good teacher. Good. Yes, I'm going to see who are the new students for today. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you had vacation for one month, right, Marielos? Yes, one month. Hi, Kadia, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Hey, nice to see you again. Hey, hello, Katya. Hello, teacher. How was your vacation? Uh, vacation of for the English class. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. English class. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, this was uh, boring. Boring. And yeah. did you did you practice? Did you do some activities? Yes, yes, just a little because I am too busy, but mm -hmm. I try, I try. Okay, okay, no problem. And what did you do, Katya? Why are you busy? I, I am studying in the university and I have two works. <laughs> Good. Katia, yeah, you have you have two jobs. jobs. The jobs. Yeah. I am teacher. I am a teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. This is one. But uh, in the morning, I I work in, in a special education school. In afternoon, in the university, Católica del Salvador. What what university? Uca. No. Católica del Salvador. Unicaes. 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 Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Unicais, this is near a uh, Parque Infantil, right? No. No, it's in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Ah, okay. Near Cementerio Santa Isabel. Okay. Near. <laughs> okay. Yes. And, yeah. and my... Katia, what do you teach? What what subject? In the University Seminario de Educación Inclusiva. Hmm. Wow, very nice. I'm yeah. glad that they have this, uh, this class in the university before there is no inclusion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this class for inclusion is everything. A inclusion for people with the sign language, inclusion for handicap, for inclusion for the sexual orientation. Uh, in the university, it's not the inclusion. No inclusion. But no, not like that. Mm, okay. In many universities in El Salvador. No in inclusion. Maybe no <laughs> uh, in San Salvador, la, uh, the university, national university. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess some people, they, but deaf people. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but they had to hire, uh, contratar, I don't know. Hire? Mm -hmm. Hire. Uh, interpret, interpreters. Really? Yes, and they have to pay that, for that. Mm. I, I begin classes next week for learning how to sign. Next week, I begin my classes. But Lesa. Uh, Lesa, yes, because is that I know I, Lesa. Uh -huh. I know Lesa. I, I didn't want to learn Lesa, but Lesa is the most popular in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. But each uh, country has the, uh, the, the uh, proper own. Uh, um, Their own? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Science, like, science language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, do you see the picture of Juan Jose Campos? He looks like uh, he looks like a, a, a politician. Uh huh. Yes. I remember. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. That, but but in this moment in the house, uh, like there. I mean, uh huh. But the picture is good, Juan Jose. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's good. All right, guys. Well. I think we waited enough time for everybody. I'm going to begin. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Edwin and I'm going to be your teacher in this module. This module is a little bit different because there are not five sections. Normally there are five sections uh, in the module. In this module, there are only four sections. This means that we're going to complete one section every week. It's easier because you know that this week you have to complete one. Next week, you have to complete two and the exam. In the third, week three, and the and then four, the last, and the exam. Okay? Okay. Uh, remember, as normal, the minimum grade is 80. You need to have 80 in order to pass the lesson. So, okay, we'll make sure. You can go, as you can see, there are four sections. Each section has the activities that you need to do. We have an exam next week after section two, and then we have exam the last week, which is the final test for section four. Section three is the normal activity, okay? If you want to see your progress or your grades, only you need to click here. Next to the course, you can click progress, and then you're going to see the grades and the activities. And in this area, you're going to have everything. Remember, the average is 80. This is what you need to have, 80. Yeah. I think everybody has taken the class before, but it's better to review just to be sure, okay? Remember the course finishes in four weeks, in four weeks, yeah. okay? So, any questions? Hey, teacher? No question. Yeah. No questions. Uh, this means that we, we are, are going, going to June 23rd. Yes. I'm checking the calendar. June 23rd is the last day. One question, teacher. Yes. The class is to Monday to Thursday or Friday? Excellent question. The class is from Monday through Thursday. Okay. Exactly, exactly, because today we be, this in this course, we begin on Monday. Normally we begin on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then we have to come to class on Friday. But this module, exactly, we begin Monday, no problem. Monday through Thursday, Friday, the body knows and you relax. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. I see Miguel already planning. Hi, ah, Friday, I'm going to relax. Excellent, Miguel, all right. <laughs> so in this moment, uh, we are going to begin. The first is I want everybody to interact so that you can get to know each other, okay? So we're going to make small groups and the idea is to find out information about your partner. Do you want to ask your partner information? For example, what do they do? Where do they work? How long have they worked there? What are their responsibilities? What is their profession? Why are they learning English? When or what they're going to use the English for, 
okay? Are they going to travel? Are they going to visit family? Are, is it for their job? Different things. We're going to have a few minutes and then we're going to come back and you're going to explain a little bit about your partner, okay? Yes, any questions? No questions. Uh, no questions? All no right, question. perfect. So let's take five minutes and we can do it. Lorena Jimenez, how are you? Buenas noches. How are you, Lorena? I'm fine, thanks. Mm, great. Um, I see you have a beautiful flower. Do you like ro Do you like flowers? Yes, I like. What's your favorite flower, Lorena? 
called Begonias, I think. I Begonias. don't know, but it's like a rose. Mm -hmm. It's my most recently discovered. Okay. Because I, I didn't know it. Mm. And I discovered recently. Mm -hmm. but, but it's not petunias. No. Oh, wait a minute. Sophie, ¿cómo se llamaban las flores que te dije que me gustaban? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, Lorena, don't worry. Don't worry, Lorena. Okay. Lorena, since you could not go into the groups, you are going to be the first and present. You're going to tell us a little bit about yourself. You ready, Lorena? Okay. Okay. Everybody, Lorena is going to be the first one. She's volunteered to go first. Go ahead, Lore. Hi. Well, my name is Lorena Jimenez. I, I work in a private clinic with neuro, it's neurosurgeon. And I am 45 years old. And I have two kids and I'm divorced. So I'm a happy woman. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Thank you so much, Lorena. All right, Katya, tell me about Mayra. Mayra, tell me about Katya. Oh, Katya work all day. Uh, she need she need to get a a long trip for for from <laughs> to arrive her work. And she is speak a lot of, and she is beautiful. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mayra. All right, Katya, tell me about Mayra. Okay, maybe Katya has some technical problems in this moment. No problem. All right, Juan Jose, tell me about Milton. Okay, Milton um, work in a um, uh, factory, mm -hmm. um, produce clothes, um, and until I understand about Milton, um, have, I don't know, 24 years to, to work in industrial for textiles. Mm -hmm. I think that is in text to fill in the, where Milton works. That's it? Yes. All right, Juan Jose. All right, good job. All right, Juan Jose, good job. Uh, good pronunciation, but the grammar you have to remember that when you speak about the person, everything is with S, works, tries, everything is with S, okay? All right, good, Juan Jose. Milton, tell us about Juan Jose. Uh, excuse me, when we are talking about uh, Milton and I, um, I only was talking, asking to Milton, and Milton for that because the, the time, for the time, uh, don't ask me. Yes, <laughs> yes, sorry teacher, sorry, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't have any time for, for us, uh, Juan Jose. <laughs> No problem, no problem. It happens. It happens sometimes. It's okay. All right, Marcela, tell me about Sergio. Hello. <laughs> uh, like, as Milton says, I couldn't ask him. 
<laughs> but uh, I, mm, I remember that we, we shared, yeah, we shared in previous model. So if I, if I'm not mistaken, he, he worked like a, as a teacher. I, I don't know. Okay. I think Sergio, you're right. I think Sergio works as a, a computer teacher, uh, IT, information and technology teacher. I don't, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Yes, something like that. But the time <laughs> done. Yeah, I. No we problem, don't have. Okay. Okay. We didn't have time for nothing. Okay, no problem. Sergio, tell me about Marcela. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. So, uh, okay. I met, uh, I met Marcela, the last model. Um, um, I was asking her about some things uh, about her life. And I could know this or figure out that she um, is very happy because um, now she has the opportunity to uh, continue uh, the process of, of learning English. Um, it's a, an opportunity to progress in that um, goal in, in her life. Uh, currently, she is uh, she's only uh, studying English. Um, uh, and she lives in San Salvador City, uh, enjoy and love cooking, especially uh, sweets, for example, cakes, uh, apple pies, and, and things like, like those. Um, she likes to listen to music, and only that. And, um, of course, I'm, I'm also very, very and really happy to, to co share with her again in this new model. All right. Excellent. Yes, only that. And, 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 and I apologize because I spend it all the time <laughs> asking her something about her life. No problem. And I, and I didn't and I didn't give her the opportunity to ask me something. <laughs> it's OK. It's good. All right, good. Alex, tell me about Marielos. Good, good evening, class. Um, uh, Mariel, Marielos and I, I studied in the last module together. Um, Marielos lives in Santa Ana, uh, saying me. Um, she, she travels uh, to to the Unicaes all the morning in the terry in the terrific traffic terribly traffic and I'm, uh, she works in Unicaes. Um, also, she likes. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. She loves uh, the language English and and. I don't remember more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No problem, Alex. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Mariela, tell me about Alex. Okay. Good evening. Um, Alex, okay, living in Santa Ana, like uh, me. Uh, he works in Lourdes, Colón, in a um, factory. Um, he he need to improve his English because he has to, to call the clients and to read for English information. And he works like a um, quality manager in the factory, okay? And he needs to improve English 
I, uh, that's that's it. Okay. All right. Great. No problem. Excellent. All right, Maritza, tell me about Miguel. Good evening. Sorry, I have problems with the microphone. Uh, uh, I uh, Miguel uh, is from Quetzaltepeque. He works in a factory in Soyapango. And he wants to learn English because he, for because of his, his job, and he wants to travel to visit his uh, half wife uh, parents in Canada. Half wife. I don't know his wife is right. Yes, I I think yes. I I I'm going to ask, but I I think it's his wife. His wife, sorry, his wife in Canada. Okay, all right, okay. Miguel, is that right? Is your wife's parents in Canada? Parents mother of my wife is in Canada. Uh, bueno, Google is Maritza, your name is Maritza Elizabeth Argueta. Uh, she is working in programmation. Uh, I live, I live, she lives in uh, Santa Tecla, is working in Torre Futura. She has a, a dog, is a girl of four years old, is a dog, uh, John, is uh, from is, uh, your family, is, is, your pet is a little, a little girl, is a pet, a dog. Um, is a uh, is a uh, interesting interesting. Uh, I live with your uh, husband, uh, your your family. Yes. Okay, Miguel. Thank you very much. You have to practice more the pronouns because all of this, all of your sentence is very confusing. I live with your family. I have no. You have to remember that. When you talk about the third person is she, her family, no I and no your, because I is me. Uh -huh. So good, thank you for the information, but remember the third person, remember the pronouns, the correct pronouns. All right, good. And the last partners that we have, okay, let's take a look. It is uh, Miguel, and I don't know if I pronounce the name correctly, Sirhan. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, Miguel, tell me about Sirhan, and Sirhan, tell me about Miguel. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, Sirhan is an architect, uh, work designing buildings, and he lies in Tesaltepeque, and he works in Colonia Escalón. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you. Sihan, okay. tell me about your partner. Okay, Miguel um, work in financial service. He lives in Santa Tecla and he works in the city of Zaragoza near to the beach. Okay, Zaragoza. Zaragoza. All right. Yeah, and I hear Zaragoza is nice, a nice place close to the beach. Yes. Okay. Well, guys, that's excellent. It's great to get to know everybody a little bit. I can listen and identify some of the mistakes. This is perfect. That way we can improve the, in the course. We try to focus in making you improve. In general, you have to be careful with the third person with the S because a lot of people say uh, she live, he work, she, uh -huh, but no, it's always with S, okay? and just be careful in general. Today, we're going to be looking at the topic of gerunds and infinitives. We're going to begin with our unit one. Miguel Angel, can you please read the objective? Okay. Maybe Miguel Angel has some problems. 
Uh, Sirhan, can you please read the objective? Yes. At the end of this class, participants will be able to use verb follow will be generals and infinitives. Very good. The pronunciation followed by. Followed by. Good. By. Followed by, by. by gerunds and infinitives. Gerunds and infinitives. So gerunds are the verbs with I-N-G. This is a gerund. Working, yeah. playing, studying. This is the gerund. Infinitive is the to at the beginning. To work, to play, to study. This is the infinitive, okay? So let's take a look at a small video of gerunds and infinitives. We want to officially welcome you to our advanced level. Our main goal in this course is for you to speak more, to convey ideas. So we ask you to participate not only in class with your teacher, but also participating on our discussion box. We wish you luck in this process. Hi, before you watch our video about verbs followed by gerund, I want you to work on two previous activities. Number one, complete the survey. Number two, tell us about yourself. How do you describe yourself? You may share your answers with a partner in class as well as in our discussion box. You may use these adjectives as well as these useful expressions. Now we're ready to study our topic, but before you go and watch the video, I want to tell you that I enjoy teaching. Share with us something you enjoy doing before you watch the explanation, and let's see if you know how to do it. A gerund always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. Okay. An infinitive with gerund can follow these. So, really, what we are learning is that with these verbs, enjoy, dislike, don't mind, and avoid, you, sh you should always use ing. Is not correct, I enjoy too. Is not correct, I dislike too. Is correct with ing. These are the ideas that you need to use. Okay, that is the idea. Always with those is the gerund, ing. These verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember that gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. So if you use those words, the next word is ing. So you're going to say, I finish going to the gym. Is not correct. I finish to go. I give up studying English. No, I give up to study English. So all of these we follow with gerund. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Uh, in the case of help, you have to use it, can't help or don't mind in the negative form to you to, to be followed by a gerund? Uh, no, you can use uh, in the positive, but it's not normal to use can't, it's not normal to use help with a gerund because normally the verb help is only by itself, but can't help is an expression that is, oh, not, okay. is not my responsibility. Is for example, I can't help, a, uh, completing the report because or I can't help paying you today because it's not your responsibility this is the difference okay thank you you're welcome teacher okay. yes I have a question uh, the same rule applies for uh, any uh, tense of this verse for example 
uh, finish in past tense or in or in this um, infinitive form. So, uh, so uh, yes, Sergio. It doesn't I, matter the tense. It doesn't matter the tense, Sergio. You, it can be in the past, present, or future, and it's the same. You need to use an ing. It's the same rule. Is the same rule. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Other ways to use gerunds. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. Finally, we have infinitives and gerunds after verbs. Some verbs can be followed only by gerunds, some only by infinitives, and some by either. Gerunds only. Avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, mention. Infinitives only. Only, agree, hope, intend, learn, plan, promise. So with these verbs is not correct ing. The correct is to. So for example, I hope to learn English. No, I hope learning. I plan to study more. No, I plan studying more. Is these is I is going to be with infinitives. Either gerund or infinitive. Begin, continue, like. In these words, you can use whatever you like. I begin to study, I begin studying. I continue to work, I continue working. I like to dance, I like dancing. Here, both forms are correct. Remember, we have just given you some examples of the verbs that you may use with gerunds, infinitives, or both. How do you feel about these things? Discuss your answers using verbs or expressions followed by infinitives or gerunds. Number one, listen to people's problems. Number two, go to places where you have to use your English. Okay, so what is the idea for these? The idea is how to use them. What we want to do is talk about things that you enjoy, you like, you dislike. All of the activities. For example, what is your favorite hobby? What do you like? I like dancing. Ah, what do you want to do? Oh, I hope to use my English. These are the differences. That's the idea for gerund and infinitives. Okay. So right now, what are we going to do with our partner? We're going to see if which ones we find that are natural and that we remember. So exercise 1.2. With our partners, we're going to complete with the correct form. As an example, here we have Ada and we have Gary, okay? And all we need to do is complete Sam with which is the correct form, okay? So here, Sam can't stand. As an example, uh, what do we use with can't stand? We can use these forms. We can use to, or we can use ing. So both forms would be correct. You see here, he has nothing to do. So Sam isn't happy. So what is something that is not happy? This is the meaning can't stand. Can stand is when you are not happy or you don't like. So you take the original sentence and then you use the expression here in the correct form with ing or infinitive. Is that okay? So, so don't worry. We're going to be with our partners, with our groups, and with our groups is 1.2. And we want to complete using the best words with ing or infinitive. You don't have to invent. Only look at the sentence and select the best way. And then we're going to check. Okay? All right. Let's try it with our groups.
Okay. Are we ready, guys? Teacher, I have a question. In, yes. In example, uh, is a uh, sun can stand? Is the answer correct? Is having nothing to do or to having nothing to do? Is, is ING, ING is correct? Having nothing? Not is correct. Oh, yes. No, it, it, it's almost correct. You are you have a good idea, but in number one, the Sam, uh, you have two forms. You can use having nothing to do, which is correct, or to have nothing to do. But is those are the two possibilities. I put in the chat so that you can put and check with number one. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. What about number? Let's take a look. What about number two? What was correct, guys? Vic, I hardly ever go to school parties. In June, me neither. They are not as much fun as they used to be. How can we put that into one sentence? Going to school party. Good. That is correct. That's it. They avoided going to school parties. Excellent. Okay. You can have going to school parties or only going to parties, right? The two forms would be okay. correct. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, we didn't finish. It's okay. That's why okay. I put. That's why I put the answers in the chat. That way, if you didn't finish, you can copy and paste, and that way you don't have any mistakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we we put in the chat first, and then we can check. What about number three? The Tina, do you visit? your parents on the weekends, don't you? And yes, Leslie, yes, I spend Sundays with them. I'm too busy the rest of the week. What do you think is correct? Can you share the screen, teacher? Mm -hmm. This is number three. Uh, I put in this moment, no, because I'm writing the answers in the okay. chat so that you can put. But when we finish, I I can put, I can share my screen, no problem. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. So number three, you have two possibilities. The possibilities with ING or the possibility with two. Okay. It's okay. What about number four? The number four says, are you going to take an Italian class this summer? Okay. What do you think we use? ING or infinitive? ING. ING. Correct. Number four is learning new languages. Mm -hmm. What about number five? We have, do you want to go rock climbing with me this weekend? And Sue, I don't know. Rock climbing sounds dangerous. Who is worried uh, about going climbing, rock climbing? Correct. About going rock climbing. Good. And the last one. What sort of volunteer? work do you do okay for the library um and then cecilia's i love kids uh, so i volunteer as a children's storyteller on saturdays cecilia enjoys ing or infinitive
ing ing correct so she enjoys and those are the ones okay now i'm going to share my screen so that you can see but if you have any questions you can look in the chat and in the chat you can see the correct answers as an example here we're going to read together okay so we're going to have Marielos is going to read number one and the correct answer. Maritza, number two and the correct. Sirhan, number three. Milton, number four. Juan Jose, number five. And then the last one, number six, Alex. Okay, so number one. Repeat, please, teacher. Number one. <laughs> Maria, Los, you were number one, no? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Number one is um, Sam can stand having nothing to do. Okay, good. And you can see we can use other forms. These are the other forms that are also correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Okay, uh, only the, the, the answer. Only the answer is okay. Okay. We can June and avoid, mm -hmm, June, correct. June, avoid going to school parties. Okay, very good. Or only going to parties. Good. What about number three? Number three. Answer is visit her parents of the weekend or to visit her parents of the weekend or visiting her parents of the weekend to visit her parents of the weekend or visiting her parents of the weekend to visit her parents of the weekend. Okay. Now in the platform, it says of, but the correct, incorrect English of is not correct. It's only on on the weekend, on Sunday, on Saturday, but is no correct of the weekend, okay? This is the mistake in the platform, but you use the word on, okay? What about number four? Sue is worried about going rock climbing. Uh, I think that's number five, but number four. Oh, okay, is, excuse me. Is, is in, my case is number f in, my, in my case is number five. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no problem, no problem. Who is number four? Teacher, number four is visiting. Vi visiting. Mm, no. Number four is here. Ivy is into learning. And lear oh, okay, and so learning now language, a new language. Thank you, Milton. That's correct. Learning new languages. Good. Okay. Number five. Okay, number five is, uh, I think that is Sue is worried about going rock climbing. Correct. Okay. That is the right. Here we go, going rock climbing. And the last one, number six. Number six is volunteering as a children's storyteller. Okay, there you go. Cecilia, right? Cecilia enjoys, and then you can have those options. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? Right now, with your partners, we're going to talk about what are your hobbies, what do you like to do, when do you do them, 
and what things you don't like, okay? For example, maybe you don't like going rock climbing or maybe you don't like going surfing, okay? Me, I have never gone surfing, but I would like to try as an example. That's what you're going to do with your partners. What you like, what you don't like, and what you want to do. It's okay? Okay. Okay, great. Let's try only five minutes and let's see. Okay, guys, great, great to have you here the first day and to learn a little bit about you. As you can see, the most important in advance is speaking, a little grammar and speak, a little grammar and communicate, describe, talk. So tomorrow we're gonna continue using the gerunds and infinitives and the new topics, okay? Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank, Thank you, you Jerry. Nice Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.